So this is one of my favorite spots where I used to come to and play as a kid. It's in the village of Merriworth where I grew up. Um, and basically this is a doodle bug bomb crater. What have you got to say to the world? bells and stuff but this should be flat because of West Malling airfield which is just over there it's not now what lies over there on the site of what was REF West Malling is now Kings Hill some 2,000 odd houses and businesses which started in the very end of the 80s early 90s because of West Malling airfield was heavily bombed uh, during the Second World War by German doodlebugs. Um, some of them missed and were off target. And this crater is one of those missed German flying bombs. So this is a map of all the different airfields across Kent that served in the Second World War. And this map here shows you all of the crash sites of doodlebugs across Kent. From the 20th of June to the 21st of July 1944, Squadron 322 were stationed at Westmoreland, a squadron of Spitfires, and they were tasked with intercepting the V1 Doodlebox, launched from the coastal towns of France and the Netherlands. So this is uh, RAF Manston Museum, and this is a replica of a V1 Doodlebox. Or Buzz Bomb, they were also called. So that big hole, that I'm stood in in Merriworth was created by one of these launched from somewhere in France kind of uh, Calais or somewhere like that and uh, trying to hit targets like Manston Airport right behind me like West Malling Airport Biggin Hill and so yeah these unmanned flying bombs started attacking Kent must have been terrifying so it says that uh, at least 150 of these were knocked out of the sky by planes taking off from Manston Airport, which is, I say, just over here. Incredible, right? We used to play here quite a lot as kids. Um, I remember there was a big rope swing here, which was terrifying because you would swing out across the crater and back. Yeah, brings back a lot of memories. So there we go, thank you for watching. Um, now, making this film, I kind of started thinking why I think this is a doodlebug crash site. Um, did somebody tell me many, many years ago? Is it an urban legend in the village or is it really? I've got no real proof, but it's just forever I've always known it as the doodlebug crush site so for me it'll always be that um, I'm sure whoever told me knew it for a fact okay cool thanks for watching um, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and if you want to comment that would be cool and um, I'll see you later Cup of tea?